What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Madden 15 Mythbusters. I'm your host, Clickwid, answering the tough-to-answer questions regarding Madden 15 and Madden 15 Ultimate Team here on Mythbusters. So, guys, the question that people had today was in regards to offensive linemen. And we did a previous uh, Madden 15 Mythbusters on a similar topic where we went in and actually examined which attributes regarding like pass block and run block actually matter. So go back and check that one out if you guys haven't. But today, somebody asked the question in the comments of that video, and I wanted to answer this question. People wondered, does awareness actually matter? And there are a lot of people that think that awareness does not matter, especially for offensive line. So what I decided to do was go in and actually test this theory. This is a Madden 15. 15 myth that people want answers to. Does awareness actually matter for offensive line? So in order to do that, I ran a series of experiments and I think the results are pretty interesting. So let's hop into it and determine whether awareness matters for offensive line. All right, guys, so the first thing that we have to do if we're going to be examining whether or not these attributes matter is actually go in and change each of them. So what I did was take the Dallas Cowboys offensive line and first start off by putting each of them at a 99 awareness. So we'll actually do that for all of them. And then we'll get into the game here and see how they do in pass protection. So our very first play, a five wide set or actually technically four wide with a, uh, a tight end running a route as well. And what I did was actually time out how long it took for the defensive line to get to the quarterback. Now, it's not necessarily how long it took for them to tackle him because that kind of doesn't really make a difference. What we want to see is how long it took for them to actually make contact with Romo. So as you can see here, the Detroit Lions defensive line, some varying different times depending on whether they blitzed or whether they just ran straight up or, you know, whatever, it, just the happenstance of Madden. And what I ended up finding out was that the average amount of time that it took to get to the quarterback was 2.9005 seconds. And again, that was when my offensive lineman had 99 awareness. So in order to compare that, we now need to go in and see how they do with a zero awareness. So I ended up running the same exact play out of a four wide set with a four verticals play. And what I came to the conclusion of is that it took with zero awareness 2.8105 seconds on average to, for the defensive players to get to the quarterback. Now, what I did as far as picking plays was uh, I kept the same offensive play, of course, but I changed the defense and made it random. So they would, you know, mix up some some different types of coverages on defense. Um, then they mixed in some blitzes and all that kind of stuff so that we kind of got a good variety of defensive plays. But like I said, I ran 50 different plays to get a very big sample size and something that I think I can give you guys a real definition of what matters and what doesn't. So again, the numbers here. With 99 awareness, the defensive line took 2.9005 seconds to get to the quarterback. And with the offensive line having zero awareness, it took them 2.8105 seconds to get to the quarterback. So all in all, a 0 0.09 second difference. And yes, so yes, the ones with better awareness did do better, but not very significantly. It was nine one hundredths of a second difference. So it roughly came out to about a 3.2% difference for overall time between the 99 awareness to the zero awareness. So as we can see here, it does matter for pass protection, but not very much, not very much at all. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at the running game because I think that the numbers are a little bit more interesting. So again, we're going to start off with 99 for our offensive line in terms of awareness. And this is kind of what it looked like here. What I was doing was running a single back dive pretty much right up the middle every single play. And I'm not controlling my running back. I'm allowing the computer to control him. So there are times where he's cutting it outside and times where uh, he just runs straight ahead. But as you can see here, we didn't really gain that significant of yardage for the most part. I was kind of surprised. I was expecting there to be a significant difference here. Obviously, he breaks a tackle there. 
But what I did to kind of make up for that was that if, if he broke a tackle that I thought was not going to be a common tackle for him to break, I ended the play there with my calculations, and I did that kind of across the board. So basically, what you're getting here is, uh, what we're looking for is an, essentially the average yards per run. And uh, like I said, we're looking at the difference between 99 awareness and zero awareness, starting off here with the 99 awareness. Now, the average yards per run when I was doing this play was 8.1 yards per carry when they had a 99 awareness. Now, same exact play ran when the offensive line has a zero awareness. And as you can see here, we're still getting okay production from our offensive line for the most part. He wasn't getting just destroyed like when I changed the uh, pass block and the run block to zero in my first Myth Mythbusters video. But the thing is, is that he was not running for as many yards per carry on average. Again, 50 plays and we took the average yards per carry. And what I came out to was a 6.55 yards per carry average when I ran behind a zero awareness offensive line with the same exact play. Compare that again to the 8.1 yards per play that we got when we ran with a 99 awareness. So on average, it was a 1.55 yards per carry increase. So that is pretty significant. A yard and a half per carry is definitely significant. It's a 19.2% increase overall. So guys, as you see here, awareness does matter for offensive linemen. Now, as we can actually see though, it does seem like it matters a little bit more for run blocking than it does for pass blocking, which I think is going to surprise a lot of people, at least based off of the experiment that I did. And again, guys, I tried to do a wide variety of different types of plays and really test out as many plays as I could within a reasonable ex <laughs> expectation anyway. So uh, I ended up testing 200 total plays for this. I hope that's enough for you guys. I hope that's a big enough sample size. Thank you guys for watching again this myth has been busted awareness does matter for offensive line i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you press that like button and if you have any myths that you guys want me to answer if i can i will definitely try to do that leave that in the comment section below again if you like the video press the like button if you're new to the channel also be sure to subscribe because that's how you'll know when i put out a new video thank you guys again for watching i do appreciate it Thank you for supporting the Mythbuster series. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I'm excited to do another one. And I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.